Introduction to LabVIEW, Part 1, the front panel. Go into LabVIEW, open up a blank VI. You'll see that you get two windows, a front panel and a block diagram, also maybe some palettes. We will use the front panel and block diagram to make a virtual instrument, which is a fake or computer-based device. It can be cheaper and easier than having the actual device. So we want to be able to turn our front panel and block diagram into a device like a CD player or a VCR or a graphing calculator. And LabVIEW will do the same work as those devices but on your computer. So let's open up the simple calculator on our computers already which is actually also a virtual instrument. And let's make our front panel look like the calculator. If you don't have this control palette, then you can control click on the front panel and it will bring up this palette for you to use. You probably want to spend some time exploring the different options you have but I'm going to start making this calculator. I want to decorate it some, so I'm going to choose decorations and make a shape similar to that of the calculator. I need a number box to show the answer, so I'm going to go under numeric, and I want to choose the indicator, the one without the little uh, buttons to change the number. We'll talk about controls and indicators more later on. Right now I'm going to try and align my decoration and the number. I'm going to choose both of them using the shift key and then you'll see that there are options above for aligning uh, things on your front panel. Now we need some buttons, and the best place to be to look would be under Boolean for uh, a button. And you have some different choices. I'm just going to choose an OK button, and I'm going to turn off the label. I control clicked on the button, and I choose uh, visible items to turn off the label. And you can just click on the buttons and change what they say on the button. This time I copied and pasted because I wanted the second button to look a lot like the first one. And I copy and pasted again to get the other four buttons. I'm going back and changing their text. I'm going to choose all four of them. And then I'm going to align them so they're so that they'll be all straight. And then I want them to be spread out evenly. All right, I'm going to copy these. In case you are unfamiliar, Command-C is for copying and Command-V is for pasting. So I just pasted some more buttons and now I'm going to change what they say by clicking on them and editing their text. I'm going to do that for the rest of the buttons very quickly here. Copy and pasting the buttons and changing the text until I have all of the buttons. And then I'm going to uh, modify some of the buttons so it looks a little bit more like the calculator on the computer. All right, we finished the front panel for our first virtual instrument, a basic calculator. You can see that for everything you put on the front panel, there is something that corresponds to it on the block diagram. 
We will learn how to wire up the inside of the block diagram later. Alright, so there's our calculator. Make sure that you are always saving your work so you don't lose it. To save your work, the shortcut is Command S. Make sure you save it in a place where you can find it easily later on. Go ahead and explore all the other options for your front panel. There are many different things you can try out. There's classic buttons that look a little bit different. There are strings for typing in words. There are graphs and charts, so you have many options. Your challenge is to find your own device and make your own front panel.